In the second week of our City of Culture, this wind turbine blade was placed here in Victoria Square. On that Sunday morning, hundreds of people turned up to watch it being installed. And since then, it has become the centrepiece for the City of Culture, both literally and metaphorically. Even before the final fixings were completed, its status was being questioned and debated. There are those that think it has no place here, and there are those that love it, but who will tell you that it is not art. Even the people who commissioned it seem to shy away from calling it art, preferring to emphasise the debate that it has stirred. So is a wind turbine blade art? No, of course it isn't. Put this on a wind turbine and it's a piece of magnificent engineering. But however well engineered it is, it will never be art. Placing it in the city centre, in a square barely large enough to accommodate it, that's a different matter. 100 years ago, the French artist Marcel Duchamp signed a urinal, entitled it Fountain, and called it art. The artwork was never the toilet. The art was taking a ready-made object and placing it inside a museum. The debate, disgust and ridicule it generated was essential to the art. Since then, the use of ready-made articles in art has become old hat, a bit of an art student cliché. Nowadays, to make something new and significant using ready-mades, an artist really needs to push the boundaries. Blade does that simply in terms of scale. It dominates the square. It is literally almost too big to fit. Massive though this thing is, it's conceptual art. Art where ideas are more important than objects. The response of the audience is vital to any piece of art, but with conceptual art, how an audience responds is the art. What has happened around Blade is unprecedented in the city, and perhaps from any 21st century arts audience. The number of visitors, their engagement and fascination, the instant tradition of caressing the Blade, of lifting up children to touch it, the widespread and at times passionate discussion it has generated. If enough people believe that it is art, then what is it? And if you still question whether this is art, well then you're in a catch-22. Because if it makes you wonder, is it art, then it's art.